evening, everyone, and welcome to a special edition of Smarticus. As you can see, we're full to the brim of contestants here for this week. Um, we've even got maybe one or two other people that might be dropping in a little later, but this episode is going to be so big that we're actually going to be dividing it up. So you're going to have to wait over the next few weeks to see the whole thing through. But for now, here's our contestants that are joining us. So up uh, to my left, you've got the absolutely magnificent, although we can't say the word, Josh. We've got the uh, new player here uh, whose name is Mars. Welcome along. Great to have you here. We have the person who can't decide who's, what name he's got, so we'll call him either Chase or Keenan. Or maybe he's keen on chasing. I don't know. But... He's with us as well. We've got we've got the return of Justin, which we're very happy about because that means we'll now get timekeeping done right. We've got oh. <laughs> we've got Nikki, oh, who's <laughs> the Nikki who uh, who is obviously a glutton for punishment, joining us once more. And we've got Glennis, who has decided yet again as well uh, as a as a fan here that she would love to join us as well. So, oh, she's got company. To and she's got company too. Great. Yeah. Well, she has company. Welcome, everybody. We've got a special uh, this time round in that we're going to be spinning a wheel that has eight different <laughs> options available depending on uh, what people spin. So it'll keep everyone on their toes. Um, but before we actually get started, how about we all do a little bit of a dance? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Right. It didn't just froze in the corner. Yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, we're all here ready to go, but to kick us off is, is someone who we haven't seen online for a little while, and we all miss him a lot, and that's Daniel Braid, who's down in, in Melbourne. So we thought we'd give him a chance to uh, give us a question from, from down there. So take it away, Dan. Hi, guys. It's Quizmaster Dan here. And I'm uh, missing you guys down here in Melbourne. Really missing my usual venues at uh, HQ Tavern in Flemington and also the Eltham Hotel in Eltham. A question for our players tonight, and I am missing you guys, and I am hopefully you're feeling a little bit hungry. Uh, the question is, in which country did Caesar salad originate? In which country did Caesar salad originate? You guys have a think about that one. Okay, so Dan's question was... In which country did Caesar salad originate? Are you ready to kick us off there, Justin? Okay, here we go. 10 seconds and the clock starts now. 20 seconds and the clock starts now. <laughs> Got it wrong straight up. Woo. Yeah, I know. 10 seconds to go, though. 10 seconds to go. Hey, Millsy, I'm answering a trivia question. Five seconds. And that's your timer, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well, I guess I'm doing the asking for everyone. So I'm going to put my answer up first. Can you hold this up for the camera when you ask? Yep. Okay, so I reckon Not that yet. it's actually the USA and might have even been invented at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. Ooh. Yeah. Interesting thought. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, okay, what, well, Justin, since you've got your uh, helper there ready... Can you hold up you the think? sign to the camera so we can see it on that square there? Is that the right way around? Can you see read my writing? Okay. Italia! Yes. Surely it was when Julius was hanging out inventing salads. <laughs> yes, that's right. Because that's what you did when you were the Caesar, is that you invented salads. Exactly. <laughs> I want bacon on this. This is boring. <laughs> uh, okay, Keenan, what do you think, mate? Oh, I was thinking uh, Caesar salad. Mm. I think I should start eating a lot more of that stuff and more and a lot less uh, McDonald's. Uh, so I was thinking, uh, going to lose some weight tonight when I'm in Rome. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, two for Italy, Rome. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm. All right. Okay, Mars, what, what's your thoughts? My thought is actually Australia. Australia. Really? Ooh, yeah. I, I actually I, re I remember. I think if I'm correct, it wasn't actually Italy. Oh, uh, I, I would think it'd be strange <laughs> if it were, but you never know. These things, yeah. you know, stranger things have happened. Uh, okay, uh, Josh. I'm following along the same lines of uh, Keenan and Justin here. I also said uh, Rome, right. and. I was trying to write Land of the Caesars underneath, but I kind of started running out of time. So right. It kind of just ended up a blurry mess. 
<laughs> Sorry, but we're very strict on that uh, 10 or 20 seconds, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, Nikki? I went with the boys and I said Italy as well. Um, but now thinking about it, I have another thought, but I can't change my answer. Can you have Can you have more than one thought in this? Uh, not, not in this, not in this one, but maybe in a in a in a yeah, yeah. the world to come up. You never know. That's uh, my okay. third thought. <laughs> and finally, Glennis, what did you think? Yep. Well, I'm going along the lines of everyone else and going Italy. Lots of people going for Italy there, but I guess the one yes. who's going to tell us is is Dan again. So Dan, is the answer? And the answer we needed, guys, would you believe, okay. is Mexico. That's right, Caesar salad originated in Mexico. Take care. Really? Well, there you go. What the heck? I think Dan needs to check his answer. <laughs> 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 wow! Gosh, I forgot. I forgot. It's yeah. It, I, I I should have realised. It's it's A before E, except before S. Kiss <laughs> <laughs> in your. Yeah. Can I have a ah. Caesar salad? Oh, yeah. That was horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mexico. Wow. Wow. Right. The uh, more well, you know. Yeah. The more you know. That's exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to now. Uh, so he got zero me. points for that though, hey? Yeah, he got zero points. So Too hard, man. See, see what happens. Yeah. Too much of a trick question. Too much of a trick question, yes. No one's in Mexico. Right, oh, okay. Well, whilst you're up there, Justin, how about you um, tell us a, a little bit about yourself and ask the next question? But so, before, yeah, it's before, on the central before you ask the question, though, make mm-hmm. sure you stop and we'll spin the wheel for you. Um, oh, yeah, spin the wheel. Okay. Oh. Yeah, but first of all, uh, tell us about yourself. So I've been hosting the online fortnightly on a Wednesday night uh, when I can, which is a lot of fun. And also I'm um, starting to do some live venues, but uh, my big Monday night time out in the same one is not back yet. Right. We're hoping now in the new year. So, but that's Willara Bay, Monday nights. And this is Mini Me. <laughs> hey, hi, Mini Me. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. It's bring your kids to work day today, so. <laughs> and I work from home. <laughs> Looks like you're staying home, kids. Alrighty. Let's now see what what you have spun then. Okay, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. <laughs> oh, okay. You have ch- you have spun up. You have to sing your question to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> Do you that? I have to send you a question to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Okay. I've forgotten how it goes. Can you? How does Twinkle Twinkle Little Star go? Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Just like you are. After that. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. That's enough. <laughs> okay. Check me out, Ke- Look, Keenan. I've got an iPad too. An iPad Mini, Keenan. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, run along now. <laughs> Just television. Yeah. Hey, I'm doing a show here. Far out. This is so unprofessional. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so, all right, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Thanks, kids, for uh, reminding me how the melody goes. Here's the question What is the closest state or territory, capital city to Ularu? Okay. Brackets, Ed, Mark. <laughs> all right. So, when does our time start? Now, 20 seconds. Okay. Straight line from a capital city can be a, a capital city of a territory or a state. <laughs> People think we've got five seconds on the clock. Yeah, you better start writing. I think Glennis and Mars is in. Mm-hmm. There we go. There's the timer, ladies and gentlemen. We're out. That's our time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, do I need to sing for the answers? Guys, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Was that Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> we saw that on, on, on online. <laughs> I'm talking to get edited out. You wish. All right, so... Okay, uh, so... <laughs> All right, Darren. What do you reckon? What's the closest? Are you gonna Are you gonna go for where you are right now? I I should have when I think about oh. it, because I yeah. put Sydney 
I completely forgot the capital I'm currently in, which is Canberra, mm -hmm. which would make a lot more sense because it'd be closer. But yeah, I was just because I thought it can't be Darwin because Darwin's actually quite a distance, and it mm. can't be Adelaide because Adelaide's even more. But if you sort of squish us a little, maybe it's Sydney. Okay, but I'll stick with Sydney, even though I should have probably put Canberra. Yeah, okay. Glennis of Dibley, what are you going to go Ooh, for? Well, I'm going for the state I was actually born in, which is Adelaide. Hotel! No wonder yeah. we get on so well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. And Mars? I'm also going to go for Adelaide. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Adelaide rocks. Well, it stopped rocking last week, I'll tell you what. Uh, Nikki Stiffman. All right. I'm going to go with... Something the same as the girls. I'm going to go with the, with Adelaide, but I'm going to say it's as far as the pigeon because there's now a big pigeon in Brundle Mall. Uh -huh. There is too. Yes. Uh, and Josh. I was having a bit of a mind blank on where all the uh, <laughs> capitals of Australia were. I did end up saying Darwin, so there you go. Well, we get a Darwin in there, yeah, yeah, yeah. And last but not least, it's Chase Evans, aka <laughs> Keenan. Yes, well, I thought if I was going to climb it, could which one could I see from the top? Uh, but Good question. I, did, Good I took your clue when you said as the crow flies. Mm. Oh. The Adelaide <laughs> crows. Adelaide. <laughs> and let us never mention that football team again. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, that was quite interesting. Well, the answer actually is, as the crow flies, it is Adelaide. Well done. So I'll take those points. Wow. And, uh, was it worth the singing? <laughs> probably not. <laughs> For us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, thank you. We, we, we work hard at it. <laughs> okay, well, how about Nikki then? Would you like to, uh, would you like to grace us with your, oh. uh, presence? So, yeah. <laughs> Tell us about yourself, and then we'll spin the wheel for you. I was going to say, I'm, here. I'm from Bris uh, well, Bayside, Brisbane. Um, I will be honest, we, thanks to our lovely, whatever you like to call him, name changer Chase over there, he got, it, got me into the, into the online. I have a lot of fun with the, these hosts on a Wednesday night playing the online. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to work out which question will I use. Oh, hang on. Okay, the first of all, one. the easiest one. <laughs> first of all, let's spin we'll, the wheel for you. We'll help, we'll help you decide. All right. Okay, Nikki, we're going for a phrase here. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So we'll be able to tell very soon what hers is when I mute her. Um, <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> okay. So. What up? I'll just pin you as well. Okay. So, Nikki, <laughs> you need to tell us all about your question <laughs> without telling us. <laughs> Go. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah, we can we can try and guess what she's saying. By the way, people. Otherwise, it's good. Any. Okay, there's a big explosion. Okay, there's lots Netball. and lots of Netball. <laughs> there's, there's explosions. People clapping. Happy nation. Um, fireworks. Okay. Beirut. Hercules. Hercules. <laughs> there's a time. Time. Twenty seconds on the clock. <laughs> After okay, you the, mind the question. The, are you saying the? No. Time. Uh, uh, the Eiffel Tower. It's in Paris. Time stables. <laughs> okay. The pyramids. Um, okay. So we've got some things. <laughs> oh, that's cheating. Oh, TNT. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Cool, so, man. so, what is TNT? Is that your question? What's it stand for? Truth and Merit Justice. Who invented the song? Who wrote the song? Who wrote the song? TNT. The song. Who? <laughs> Okay. If yeah. you eat TNT, what will happen? <laughs> <laughs> I think. Uh, okay. Your eyes would water, definitely. <laughs> I think I'm going to unmute you now. Okay, give us a question. That was fun to try. 
What nut is actually used in TNT? <laughs> well, obviously As in us. What, well, yeah, what, what crazy person. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there is a nut used in TNT. What wow. is it? Okay, okay. okay, am I starting the clock? Yes, Here please. we go. Start the clock. 20 seconds on the TNT clock. What's the nut? And one second, that's it, folks. <laughs> Time is up. All right. That's your 20 seconds. Let's start with Glennis. What do you reckon? I think it might be the macadamia nut. Ooh, Ooh that sounds expensive. Yeah, mm. gosh. <laughs> Don't blow those up. Are you kidding? <laughs> 108 bucks a kilo. <laughs> Maybe not for Queenslanders. No. Oh. <laughs> Josh, what about you? What do you reckon? I'm just kind of um, throwing stuff out there. I said peanut. Because oh, <laughs> I wouldn't have an idea. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll throw something out and hope for the best. <laughs> That's all right. Well, it is a nut. I, think I got that part right. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, is it a okay. Jazz, what do you think? I'm going to go with something that is a nut as opposed to peanut, which is a legume. I'm uh, going to put almond. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Almond. It is the most common nut in the world, the almond. It is. But, uh, it is it indeed. Is. All right. What about you? Oh, let's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with mines. What do you reckon? I reckon cashew. Oh, another expensive one. Jeez, you've got expensive cashew. <laughs> cashew. <laughs> cashew. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, what about you? Uh, so I kind of went a bit expensive as well. I was thinking the almond because it is the most common nut in the world, but I went for the pistachio. Oh, the green one. Yes. I don't see logic in that. All right, Chase. I know you're going to have a good answer. <laughs> no well, one's chosen the same nut. I yeah. went away from the whole thing. You said what nut? is involved in dynamite. Um, I went with the only nut that I knew <laughs> invented dynamite and then named a peace prize after him. Alfred, Alfred Noble. Noble. <laughs> that is a crazy. Noble answer. Yes. 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 <laughs> well, yeah. um, other than that, I would have said Lacacia nut because um, I learned that from Russell Coit. Lacacia. <laughs> All right. Is that is that everybody? That is everybody. Ooh, and wow. We do have one correct answer. Ooh. And it is actually Josh. It is the peanut. Oh! <laughs> oh throws it out there. Peanut. Throw it out there and I'll get it right. <laughs> Won't happen again. <laughs> oh, so you've got to explain this. So why are they using a peanut in explosives? What's going on there? I have no idea. It's just a question I found. Wow. So, Peanut butter. Actually, if you think <laughs> about it, it does make sense because, as I said, peanuts are a legume, and legumes are known for, for uh, like getting nitrogen. So if you're going to right. try nitro toluene, it sort of makes sense. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they're going to get their nitrogen from somewhere. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, that will do us for here. So we'll just call this part one. Stay tuned in for next week where we'll see even more of this jam-packed episode of Smarticus Showdown. <laughs> <laughs>